everybody we have guitar crate april 2022 so it appears the last few episodes i've probably given you a little bit of false information not intentionally i had described the different packages that guitar crate offers and i hadn't bothered to look at their website for updated pricing and further information so what guitar crate is and this has remained true throughout all the videos it is a subscription service that they will send you a monthly box and in it you will get mystery items. Now they have different options. They have six string, seven string, eight string, acoustic, electric, bass, extended string options for bass, and a pedal of the month club. They also have gift boxes that you can choose a few different items in. And the pricing is where I was wrong. So it appears that the crates start at 25 and then 45 for the two packs of strings a month, uh, they call it the Guitar Crate Plus. Pedal of the month remains unchanged at $100 a month. And then also, after a couple minutes on their website, I was able to see that they have some different pedals and items in stock too. So if anyone wants to send me the Jerry Cantrell wall, I would appreciate it. Um, I actually don't use a wall pedal. I have a handful of them, but I don't plug any of them in. So without further ado, let's open this box like we do every month cut this guy open without cutting our finger off. We'll throw all the contents here in my desk. We'll take the box like we do every month. So what do we got here? Let's look at everything that we got. Okay, so we'll start with the Frine. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's Music Nomad. It's a fret polishing kit. And let's see here. Cleans, shines, removes oxidation, petroleum free, clean, smooth frets will improve playability and string life. Includes fret polish, three, threat, bleh, bleh, three fretboard guards for small, medium, and jumbo fret slot sizes. Wow. Fret slot sizes. Say that 10 times fast. Premium lint free microfiber suede cloth. Oh, looks like we have to cut that too. Let's get in here and take a look at this. Hopefully I didn't lance a finger without knowing it. Okay. So we have some fret guards, looks like. We have the polish. You know, imagine that. The container has everything that it says it would in it. Okay, there's our cloth. There's the fret polish. Let's take a look and see what this feels like. Yes, I just put rubbing compound on my fingers to see what it would do. Uh, it feels just like a mild uh, compound, maybe something similar to a Meguiar Scratch X, something along those lines. Uh, Meguiar Scratch X, for those of you not familiar, it's a car care product. Uh, you can get light surface scratches out with it. It's readily available to folks at any auto store, where you can buy any um, type of buffing compound, but the Scratch X is typically one that folks will get when they don't know what they're doing because it's kind of hard to screw up your finish with that. But that's a little sidebar tangent. Okay, so I've got a guitar here, taking some of the fret guards, just putting it over. Appears like it would do the job, so I'll show you what I mean by this. So this guard would fit over the fret. You would take some of the cleaner there in that cloth and you would buff over the fret and there you have it. Uh, these feel kind of chintzy. They don't feel as uh, heavy duty as my Stumac ones, but that's not Guitar Crate's fault. This is a Music Nomad product and all the stuff from Music Nomad is pretty good. So we'll set that aside. <clears throat> We've gotten these before. We have received these before. This is the Dunlop lock strap. So how this guy works, I'll give you a demo on this. So you put this on your strap button. You put your strap here. This goes over your button and you turn this and it creates sort of a strap lock. It's kind of a flimsy plastic, but uh, I threw them in my one bag just as a shits and giggles type thing. And they actually work for one of the guys at practice. So uh, we got our two sets of strings, the Dario 10 to 46. 
I've said this so many times before, I feel that there is no better buy for the money on the market than this brand of strings and this model. Um, I actually had this same discussion. I have two buddies that both use NYXLs and they're worth every penny. I just think this is the better buy if you change your strings as often as I do. My two friends that both use the XLs, they don't change as often as me, so the XLs make more sense to them. All right, what's our next item here? We have a different pick assortment, and there's a handful in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've received a lot of picks from Guitar Crate over the year plus, but this one packet has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15, 15 picks in it. Various thicknesses. What do we got here? Okay. What's it say? D grip by Janesek. Janesek. Made in the Czech Republic. I like that shape. I use a pointy pick. I'll show you. I actually have uh, some of mine that I use in a little container on my desk. So this is what I use here. One of these, I cut the grooves in it, but that's the same shape. A little bit sharper than um, a pick. It's based off of a Dunlop Tortex Sharp. But okay, so you have a couple of this shape in here, um, different gauges of it. Let's see here. Okay, these are all the broader, well, wait a minute. Yeah, okay, so these two are different than these. Oh, they're different too. Oh my gosh, some of these quite different. What do we have here? Model numbers. I should probably look at that. I'm thinking that's the thickness. Okay, so we have an assortment here. <laughs> Won't bore you with that. There's one shape. I don't know if I'd like that. That would be kind of uh, an odd... Okay, so feels fine. I just don't like the shape. Let's see about this guy here. Um, I really like that texture on him. I, I like that texture. I want to check this one out again. I like that. There's this texture on that. I don't know if you can see. Trying to catch out in a light. Can't seem to make that slip, but you have a handful of different picks there. So we've got 15 of these picks. They're all from the same group. What's the next item? This is a pick holder. Very fitting since we got about 6,000 picks. And I got that plastic on me. Hope I can get the plastic off. Oh, is this one I want to slide? Yep. So a little tinge of slides. We're going to put our 900 guitar picks that we got this month. Except for that one that we dropped on the floor. We're going to leave that there for after the video. So tin for picks, two packs of strings. Frine, I'm thinking that means fret shine. I like how I puzzled that out. Our Dunlock lock straps. And what do we have here? Groove Tech Mini Multi-Tool. World's smallest multi-tool for guitar and bass, optimized for action, intonation, tremolo, and other basic work, except truss rods. I like that it makes that, uh, that distinction. Fits most makes and model professional quality. So here's what all it has. Let's see if I can move my finger there without dropping this. And what's it say here? Bottle opener and precision roller. I guess it assumes that all guitar players are alcoholics. Maybe, I don't know. But it should know by now that almost all guitar players can open a bottle without a bottle opener. Well, that's a pretty heavy duty bottle opener that you can't get out of it. They're in there pretty tight. So we got a bottle opener, a couple different tools, various hex sizes. If you guys have paid any amount of attention to the crap that I've said over the several months, you'll know that I'm a sucker for multi tools. I have every single tool that you can imagine. Well, not all of them that you can imagine, but you get what I mean. I have everything I could think of that I need for now. 
And when I don't, I can just go by and I still love these multi tools. So we have millimeter and inches on this, on the roller side of it. That's what I was checking out there. So, okay. Um, finish up my comment on the multi tool. I'm a sucker for multi tools, even though I have all the tools I, I really want to use. Fret shine, lock strap, Diodario, um, strings, two packs, and our pick assortment. That is Guitar Crate for April 2022. Uh, it is the 19th, so this one got here a little bit later than usual. Go to the website, it's guitarcrate.com, and you can look at the different options they have. So if you're a bass player, they have something. If you want to get someone that you like, uh, something, you can order them a Guitar Crate, a gift one. They have gift cards. And I also noticed, like I said, they had the pedals on their site and they had a couple links. They had amps. Uh, there was a Marshall Studio MK2 at the at the time. I'm not sure if it's brand new or used or what the deal is. And they had a couple guitars. They were all Sterlings. So I don't know if that's um, a deal that they have going with the company. But I know them as the Guitar Crate people because this is what I receive every month. I get a little box. We'll keep this going for a little bit longer. We'll include our mistakes in the video like usual. And... You know, if you like what you see, let me know. If you have any questions, comments, critiques, be happy to listen to any of it. And we'll see you with another Guitar Crate video. And, oh, I do want to say this. I just want to put this out there. I purchase everything that I display on the channel. So I'm not receiving anything from anybody to do this. This is, I subscribe, I'm showing you what I received. Your mileage may vary. If I do receive compensation from anyone for a video that I'm doing or I've done, I'll certainly let you know. And uh, here we have a bunch of Boss Super Overdrives. The reason I got these out, if you go to the Guitar Crate website, they have a generic Super Overdrive pedal. And I thought, that doesn't look like the ones I have. You know, I have a current production one, an 85, an anniversary, and a Waza one. And I thought, mine doesn't look like theirs. So, all right. Um, I guess just for shits and giggles, to close this out, there's an 85. There's the color of it. And here's the color of a current Waza. They're virtually identical, especially when you figure that this one is brand new. Well, a year old, maybe. Uh, serial 14730, if anyone can decode that. And this one is almost as old as me. So there you have it. We'll see you next time.